Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to our 10 to 14 day video update. So we're going to have a look at where the next 10 to 14 days for this video. Day 10 will take us to the 17th of June and we'll be able to set up beyond that. We have set up GFS and ESEP ensembles. May run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into uh, July. I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first. A video series, our 6 7 UK weather forecast. And we'll also uh, release a uh, update for channel members. Each show doing a 42 day for channel member. Channel member exclusive. So if you'd like to check that out, then um, sign up, become a channel member. If you are a channel member, have a, you have access to uh, that video. So make sure you check it out. Please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. For Gals, one of these. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, going to start off with the latest wind map from EarthNoldSchool.net. Show you that we've got low pressure in the Atlantic. And we're bringing a westerly flow. There's a trough, upper level trough, within that westerly flow. And that's going to act as a trigger some pretty big downpours and possibly further storms into this afternoon. Central, check out 6 a.m. broadcast, more about that. So, central in temperature is sitting at 13.6. That's half a degree below the 61 to 1990 average. That is provisional to the 5th of uh, the month, to the 5th of June. These are GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. What about Glastonbury today? Now, so many people are asking me about Glasto updates. Uh, you love it, don't you guys? Glasto goers. <laughs> Hello to Glasto goers. Well, I can tell you Glasto updates will be starting, I think, late next week. So, um, I think it, uh, the Glastonbury Festival period will be within the entire GFS time frame by sort of the latter part of next week, and I'll have an update for you probably about Thursday, Friday, something like that. Watch your space on that. You've not got long to wait now for Glasgow updates less than a week away. Do -do -do! We love it. Right, well, anyway, let's get back to business. We're starting off uh, with uh, upper air temperature looking a little bit below average, but they're going to be lifting up over the uh, next few days into next week to have our first sort of heat spike of the summer. Not excessive by the look of it, but uh, getting to 15 degrees at, uh, at 850 HPA, depending on sunshine amounts, that could deliver some uh, 30 degree temperatures. Uh, beyond that, when we come back down closer to average, we're still a bit above, and then hover very close to or slightly above long-term seasonal averages into the second half of June as well. It's looking pretty warm once you get the cooler weather of the next uh, day or two out of way. Precipitation-wise, well, these are days down pause. Then we're going drier for much of next week. Late next week, get some precipitation. Right, that might be um, involved with a thunderstorm or might be associated uh, with a thunderstorm. And then beyond that, where we're hovering again quite close to our long-term um, averages in terms of temperature and precipitation-wise, again, we see some precipitation spikes, but not all that many of them. So the two wet periods, periods really, at the start, and then this fungy stuff here in between, looking rather drier. Okay, temperature normally set for the next uh, five days to the 12th of June, about average, not a particularly big deviation. 10 to 14 day goes warmer than average, though. Precipitation anomaly is for the next seven days to be 14th of June. A lot of regional variation, generally wet in the north, a bit dry down in the south, but the far south does actually see above average rainfall, probably associated with Fudsor. 10 to 16 days significantly drier than normal, so going warmer and Drier essentially into the second half of July there, of June there. Right, let's go from chart day to Miss Abelation UK Met Euro run. It's looking big night on Tuesday. So a bit of a trough heading in from off the Atlantic then, but a ridge builds over to the east coast. She went in Bursey, drags up a summery flow. Very warm, hot air surging northwards plus 20 Celsius ice firm. 
getting into Northern France plus 15 South Sides from across England and Wales. And then the whole lot gets pushed away from uh, the west by these areas of low pressure heading in from off. And so a brief spike of heat. I made a cool down, perhaps with a thundery interlude in between. Icon again showing a flat westerly flow a Tuesday before we shift the wind around to southerly uh, through Wednesday and Thursday, turning much warmer, hotter. And then the trough moves through, cuts off hot air, turn cooler into the end of week. But with a nice extension from the Azores High next weekend, that could deliver a mostly dry and potentially warm or very warm weekend next weekend. The KMA is looking like this. Again, we've got those southerly winds as we're going um, through the middle of next week. Could deliver some thunder as this trough rolls in. Cuts off that southerly. Uh, and then high pressure building quite nicely into our extended range. So turning drier. We are slightly on the cool side of that high pressure. So it won't be a heat wave with winds coming in from the northwest. But a lot of dry weather to be enjoyed there. The GFS midnight run, again, it's much and much. This wind shifts around to the south uh, through, uh, through uh, Wednesday and Thursday, becoming very warm through the middle part of next week. Then the trough heads in from off the Atlantic, turning uh, rather showering, and that trough of low. High pressure then by day 10 to south, low pressure of the north, wind coming in from a flat westerly direction. More extended range, actually rather cool and showering if GFS midnight run. <laughs> a bit of a change on uh, what we're seeing model output later. We're generally coming in for like a north westerly direction up to the 23rd of June. Uh, of course, that's heading into Glastow week. That just gets us to um, when, uh, well, I think the volunteers will be arriving then, won't be 23rd of June. Oh, Glastow, guys, it's getting closer, closer, closer. <laughs> still, still a little uh, little longer to go before we can do full Glastow updates. Right, well, GFS 6 said by comparison, again, with high pressure south, low pressure north on Tuesday, then wind shifting around tempor temporarily to the south through Wednesday and Thursday, becoming much warmer, hotter, before the trough heads in from off the Atlantic through Friday. Into the weekend of the 14th, 15th of June, looking rather uh, rather westerly, high pressure going to south, low pressure back to the north. That should bring a lot of dry weather into the south, though. Uh, that's set up at day 10, mostly dry under the ridge, then quite warm. Uh, as well, in the more extended, well, low pressure all the time is trying to get in from off the Atlantic, but really being fended off by the uh, Azores High. Right at the very end of GFS 6 said we also go into that cooler northwesterly, uh, northerly flow. That's getting us to the 23rd of June. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please tell you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone. For doing that, why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this sound all our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Boys. Get them to subscribe to you. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We only put around 40 subscribers. That sells to 19.9k. Uh, so you could give us stuff. That'd be absolutely amazing. So much. Love it. GM, again, with high pressure, south, low pressure to the north through Tuesday to Wednesday and Thursday, when you're shifting around to somebody's southeast direction, becoming very warm, if not quite hot by then, plus 20 south ice well, getting to the north coast of France, plus 15 south ice well, across England, where well, depending on how much sunshine we've got, that should get the temperature to 30 degrees. A the trough then moving in from off the Atlantic, perhaps with a bit of a fungy breakdown, then the ridge really establishing strongly with the gem uh, through days 8, 9, 10. In fact, the GM is going for a prolonged spell of very warm, if not hot weather there. Upper air temperatures still looking really hot, if really warm, if not hot. And plus 20 Celsius ice by day 10, making it into southwest England. I think that's an outlier, but uh, the gem really going for it today with a prolonged spell of dry, very warm or hot weather setting up. Blimey, what about the ECM? To round it all off. Well, our first push of southerly winds Wednesday and Thursday, plus 20 south ice firm with the ECM just about making it into the channel. Can you believe? I reckon Thursday could deliver 30 degrees, but it will depend on where we've got thunderstorms and a lot of cloud and whatnot. Beyond what, what not? Beyond that, we find high pressure again, really building strongly. The ECM and the gem are very similar today. In the extent of high pressure, so a prolonged spell of dry, very warm to locally hot weather setting up there around the middle part of June. In the more extended, well, the high pressure keeps on sitting over top of the country, not much change. 
very late on. Perhaps a hint or something a bit cooler coming in from the northwest. But both the gem and the ECM going for a prolonged spell of dry and very warm to hot weather, I think, through the third week of June. Goodness gracious, mate. Uh, some data forecast based on the ECM run. Well, it's excellent to today's downpour. So there could be some really big showers and thunderstorms around today. They'll kind of fade as we go overnight. Tomorrow there will be showers around, not quite as intense as today, though. Monday brings the west weather into the north. The south should have quite a bit of dry weather. Uh, beyond that, well, again, we see wind shifting around to more of a southerly direction then as we head on into the, uh, into the um, middle part of the month, or the second half of next week, I should say. So that delivers potentially the first 30 degree temperature. Not that much in way of a thundery breakdown. That's because pressure stays relatively high. So a few showers, sponsors scattered around, triggered by heat and humidity. But to be honest, the East End bring a lot of dry, very warm or hot weather. This is the precipitate. No, what to talk about. Uh, this is, these are the. What are you doing, Gab? What are you doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Uh, what are we doing? Okay. Oh, big time on some table. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be eating some on sample today. Four day It's all about magic water. I've got a magic water adult brain. Um, no, these are not on the table. We're going to be on sample today. Four day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. I'm like this at 47. I'm going to be like by the time I'm 67. I'll be, I'll be in a home by then, I reckon. <laughs> Uh, right, so we've got 22 members of the ECM ensemble. This high pressure sitting right over top of the country. Lots of dry, very warm weather with that. 20 members of the ECM ensemble with high pressure just to our west, making dry with that. And nine with high pressure a little bit more towards the southwest. That's allowing something slightly cooler in from the northwest. But to be honest, they're all anti cyclones, so it's mainly dry and potentially very warm, if not hot, at uh, day 10. In two time, means I've got missing the about the got sorry that's us to the 22nd of june 51 out of 51 members of the east Coast, almost all of them with high pressure right over the top of the country blimey high and dry though high and dry there uh right lastly this is uh, the CFS, so these are 500 millibar height and knowledge broken down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 7th to the 13th of June, but next week we're low pressure to the north, high pressure out in the Atlantic. And winds are coming in from that westerly direction. Week 2, check this out, it's the 14th to the 20th of June. Big area of high pressure then building through the north and the west of Europe, bringing lots of dry and uh, very warm, potentially hot weather with it. And on it goes into week three, which is the 21st, oops, which is 21st to the 27th of June. Again, high pressure right in over the top of the country and then Finally, week four rounds it all off. It's the 28th of June, the 4th of July, and we're still high and dry. But CFS looks like it's trying to develop a prolonged spell of hot weather there. And, of course, under that high pressure, very dry weather too. Could be summer turning to a classic. We'll see. Time will tell. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you're open for a about. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos. Don't forget to press the back down as well. Get to subscribe to show you everyone for uh, doing that tomorrow. We're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. I might try and squeeze in another, up late, uh, another update, I should say, for download and Le Mans. And if all that wasn't up, there will be a 10 to 14 day as well. No long range, right? But long range uh, updates are shifting to Wednesdays. Uh, now for the autumn updates uh, anyway so we're going to see how this plays out we've done um, long range updates on Sunday since we started Gals Roads back in 2012 so it's quite a big change a significant change and uh, I'll see how it goes you know whether we're able to generate the same amount of uh, views for um, the long range on Wednesday as we do on a Sunday. It's a significant change, a big change. So, uh, yes, we're going to see how that plays out. But for the autumn updates, anyway, uh, we'll be doing uh, long range updates every week on a Wednesday. So, uh, if you're wondering about that, then uh, this coming Wednesday will be the first one of those. Right, okay, well, we're going to end the video there. You have a great rest of your Saturday. I'm off to do job number two <laughs> in a moment. Um, but uh, you enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I've been Mr. Russell for now, and thanks for watching.